Vinny and I both here in studio tonight, even though we were both in California yesterday. Amazing, this continental travel gimmick. It's 11.15 on a Saturday. I know there's somewhere we can go to get something to eat. Taco Bell is closed. Okay, we're, uh, just drop me off at a Safeway. It's closed. So then I see the gas station, the 7-Eleven. The guy's there, and he's stocking food order. And I go, excuse me, uh, are these hot dogs? He goes, no, expired. <laughs> I, said, I said, what? I went back to Dave's. I had two fucking bars and a water. That was it. I, I could have died last night. Opened with Jungle Boy versus Bobby Fish. He's got his his heel beard going on, but I don't think he's going to turn heel. No, no. He's a jungle adolescent now, and he's... A <laughs> jungle more... hoodlum? I cannot help but notice that Adam Cole abandoned Bobby Fish to die. He hung fish out to dry, smoked salmon. That's the best reference you've ever made. Thank you. He actually was hung out to dry like a fish. Dickinson goes up top. He is one of 700 people who did a frog splash this weekend. Yes. And he hit this frog splash, and then he never got up. The psychological pain was probably as bad or worse than the physical pain for this poor guy. I doubt it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yes, best wishes for a quick recovery to Chris Dickinson. And now comes Juice Robinson, and we mentioned this earlier, but he's total Randy Savage tribute act. He's tonight. got the fucking hair. The funny thing is, that's his hair, and it just happens to look like the Macho Man's needing some conditioner. <laughs> and then out comes Jonah. The former Bronson Reed from NXT. But when you actually see Jonah in person, Jonah as in the whale, because he's so enormous, he's massive. Mikey is our special guest host today. He's a whale scout uh, contributor. We usually don't say last names, Mikey, but you're welcome to say your last name if you'd like to. I don't know if you're afraid of people trying to Google you or anything like that. Chris Sands, what's the best way to get an 18-month-old to sleep through the night? NyQuil. Oh, Craig, please. Whiskey. Go read some books and do not feed your child whiskey. Guy walks up next to me and just asks, Are there any bridges that go across the Grand Canyon? <laughs> you should have told and him he if he had away. a motorcycle, he could try to jump it like Evil Knievel. What about you, Mikey? What's the most amazing thing you ever saw in your life? You know, off the top of my head, I can't really think You've of You've never one, seen but, anything uh, amazing. <laughs> nothing well, amazing. I, uh, you know, I, I had an out of body experience. Oh, uh, really? Then there was it rains versus wood. Wait, what? I, I think his name was Wood. I looked it up. <laughs> yes. Right? It's so much funnier as Wood. <laughs> wood. He's, he's got some chopping to do. <laughs> yeah. Ted DiBazio. No. Diabaz. How do you pronounce that? D I B E. DiBiase. DiBiase. A undertaker was an imposter, which was the real undertaker. I am so lost. I don't know what in God's name is happening in this story. I didn't care for this, to be honest with you. I was It was just a collection of moves, and then the ending was very confusing. Well, you know, the thing with the Lucha Brothers is, uh, you know, they do what they want. Yes. <laughs> you, know the, you know the gimmick where if they need to understand you, they do, and if they don't want to, they don't? <laughs> yes. So this crowd came to boo Cody Rhodes. This was not very good. It was pointless. I don't know what it accomplished, and I don't know why it had to be here on this show that's already too long. The buildup involved both of them being total dicks to the other. Then we had to pick our poison here in the match. And then in the end, we picked the other poison. Jericho's going to do the lion salt, and Junior's going to interfere. But because it's his second match ever, Junior's out of position. Well, yeah, he did take forever. So Jericho is left hanging on the rope screaming, Junior! <laughs> Junior! <laughs> on the billboards and the street signs and everything, they're showing video clips of all of his failures that he must overcome if he's going to triumph here and win this championship tonight. I don't know where they're going to go, but I mean, it's very clear that this is not the end. This is maybe the midpoint. Like, the end of this is the elite all getting back together again. I, I agree with uh, Vinny with the kind of the, the choice and direction. Thank you, Mike. I knew I liked you. Two guest hosts this week of the three of us. He's the only one wearing a Brian and Vinny shirt. <laughs> yeah, I saw you were a, a Canadian when I when I Skyped you here. So uh, add, some, yeah. add some class to the show here. Exactly. Lance Why will not? be a big fan of your intelligence. He says, Can you guys take care of things while I take some time off. And Adam Cole in the line of the show says, don't worry, cleaner. I got this. 
Do you get the joke? <laughs> don't worry, Cleaner, I got this. They bring out Hangman, and I don't mean to alarm you, but he was popular. Came out here and just says, unnecessary cheap pop. <laughs> I laughed. I won the world title at WrestleMania and wrestled the next day. Now the crowd really hates him. Oh my God, the mention of WrestleMania. Yes. <laughs> like, and then they he, were furious And this guy. he is gleeful as he kneels them. Of course Virginia boos hard work. Was it Craig that said that we need to put Brian Danielson into the Hall of Awesome <laughs> and I said I need a reason for it? Yeah. <laughs> well, too bad he's not here, because guess what? <laughs> I hereby announce that Brian Danielson has been inducted into the Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Steve, you get a vote, too. You paid for it. Aye. Well, we're going to do a segment with MJF, one of the great talkers in this business, and CM Punk, one of the great talkers in this business. And our plan is they will not talk. (laughs) In a million years, I would not have expected that to be their first meeting. But it was fucking great. This person here, by the way, says the MJF suit was the same color as the shirt he wore when he met CM Punk as a child. Oh, my God. That's awesome. That's amazing. Uh, This person notes that Punk's shirt that he wore for the MJF segment was Rancid's And Out Come the Wolves, in which the first track's title is Maxwell Murder. No way. Yep. (laughs) That's fantastic. It's even smarter than I realized. There's so many fucking Easter eggs on this show. Yes. Yes. If you, pay, you are rewarded for paying attention. Yes, you are rewarded for paying attention. Dream match is not the right word in any way. But as far as matches, I can't believe are actually going to happen. Badass Billy Gunn is going to wrestle Darby Allen yeah. on Rampage. That is absolutely Wow! Cool. <laughs> they cut to Tony Nese in the crowd, who is still just in the crowd. I can only imagine him looking at this group of guys in the ring on this show and thinking, I hope I fit in Dude, that's what somewhere. everybody thinks. That's what Daniel Bryan thought. Yeah. He's like, can I hang with these guys? By the way, Bryan, the answer is yes. Like, have you people ever watched poker before? It looks nothing like this. This is phony and fake. Yeah, but fucking dude, can you imagine a, a 15 minute in the ring segment where neither guy said anything to each other and they just fucking pass chips across the table? If you want to do a poker segment, people watch poker. Bro, no. <laughs> this business is not about wins and losses. It's not about how many miles you drive. It's about how many followers you have. <laughs> hey. He's right. He's telling the truth. Oh, my God. So don't, he's, he yeah, says, he's telling the truth exactly how WWE sees it. Yes. Me. Ciampa then does some Steiner math because everyone knows he's a Steiner, even though we're not allowed to talk about it. You ever, you ever seen body painting? They basically Ooh. painted uh, Mandy Rose's jeans on her body. Right. I don't think she actually was wearing anything below the waist. They just, like, used paint. Point one one. Do you guys still vote? No. 